I might not know Kung Fu, but I'm about to know Kung Pao. A is for Antep and Z is for Zing Got 24 more that'll grow in between They say the spice of life is variety That's why we're growing so hard on the alphabet of heat Phosphorus Letter K What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Alphabet of Heat My name is Boss, I'm a gardener and a lover of all things spicy We are on to the letter K and for the letter K, we have the Kung Pao pepper. This is an interesting pepper that is kind of similar to a Thai variety, but it's known to be late season, it grows really big and bushy on the plant, and it's less hot. So this is a milder version of, say, a Thai pepper. It's not named for the Kung Pao chicken or, you know, the kind of the famous American Chinese dish, but it is often used by people now making Kung Pao chicken at home. So you can eat these chilies green or red, I was able to get one right here that is red and not dried out. What I've noticed is that as they ripen, they tend to dry out. So most of the red ripe pods that I had were really looking kind of crummy. They're not something I want to slice open and take a taste of necessarily. Better used for grinding up into seasoning. I haven't tried a green one yet, but we'll see. After I try a red one, maybe I'll try a green one. Let's go take a quick look at the plant out in my garden and you can see how it grew and just how many fruits actually were clustered on this thing. Typical to an annuum, this thing grew fast. It got too tall for the lights and got a nice lean, but once it was put in the garden, it exploded. Nice big growth. There was a pepper at pretty much every node. Um, sometimes they grew in clusters, sometimes they were singular. They did tend to dry out on the plant, which was a little bit annoying, but not anything to worry about. Not bad, right? And now it's time for pepper facts. So this is a capsicum annuum, very similar to a Thai or a bird's eye chili. Um, this is said to be milder, about seven to 10,000 Scoville heat units. Not clear where it originated from my research, but they are fairly popular, easy to get a hold of. They grow in a tall, bushy plant that often has clusters of fruit together. All right, so now that we know a little bit about the Kung Pao pepper, let's slice it open, take a look, and take a taste. Well, what a seedy adventure. See, it's pretty thin-walled, not a ton of placenta there, just a lot of seeds. So we'll be interested to see how this tastes. I'm obviously not gonna eat all those seeds because I wanna share them with you. So, Kung Pao pepper, letter K in the alphabet of heat. Let's see how it tastes. That's got a really good flavor. Um, different. Similar in flavor to a Thai pepper, but a little bit more earthy, a little bit more savory. Not overly sweet. It almost tastes like it has garlic in it already. Hard to explain. Decent burn. It is probably about 10,000 Scoville heat units. It's sharp, so it's a sharp burn, not flat or distributed. You instantly feel it. Very similar to what you would get from, you know, a Thai chili. That's pretty cool. Like it tastes, I think maybe smoky is the right word. Not so much savory, but smoky. Very nice. I think I'm gonna have to try and get some of these on the smoker and dry them that way to make powder. That would make a really good spicy kind of paprika, smoky chipotle. Mm. I could see using that in burrito sauce or enchilada sauce, maybe. That would be the way to go. Very tasty. Um, you could also use it in really anything you want to spice up without adding a ton of distinct flavor. Pretty mild, spicier than it is flavorful, but it's still not super spicy, right? I'm excited to see how many of these will turn red and actually ripen all the way. I've got about a week left at the time I'm filming this before I'm going to have a freeze, so... We're getting down to the wire, but I will have seeds for these available to you all soon. Make sure to keep watching, and remember, plants help us grow. Peace. Everybody was Kung Pao eating. Nom 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 nom.